Welcome to Faith, Revival, Holiness, um, Paris Janet Church and Synagogue. Our minister and prophet, M.G. Mays, let's begin in prayer. Father, we pray, pray that you would be pleasing in your sight through Yeshua, the, the Ark of Covenant of our life, or the presence of the Ark of the Covenant, I should say, who, who fills our empty Ark of the Covenant up within our hearts and our minds. Fill us up, O oh Yeshua, Spirit of God, Yeshua, our El Shaddai, fill us up full. May not an ounce not be filled with your presence, this, as we are the spiritual ark of the covenant, the, 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 uh, the temple of God made with no hands. We are the, need to be filled up with you. And, and the Father God needs to be in the holy, holy of holies in our, our minds, directing our steps. And we thank you and praise you. Thank you. All right. Today, we're going to do some more of the Torah. Torah, Shemot. Shemot means names, book of names. Uh, Kodash means set apart. Kodash means set apart. Um, Exodus, which is the Latin is not correct because if it was from English of its name, Shemot to English would be names, it would be the book of names. Uh, chapter 13, 1 through 22, going to 14 of 1 through 31. 14 through 1 through 31 of 1 through 22 of 13 of, of Exodus, book of names. It says, Yah said to Moshe, set aside for me all the firstborn. Whatever is the firstborn of the womb among the people of Israel. Both human and animal beings to be. Moshe said to the people, remember this day on which you left Egypt, left bondage, basically. Because Egypt spiritually um, represents bondage and slavery, leaving that. This is why when in Revelation it says Sodom and Egypt, it's talking about America. Yes, it is. And it's talking about Canada. Canada and America is Sodom and Egypt of, of Revelation. And, uh, all, you know, the things of Sodom, all the, all the sins and, and the iniquities and things, all of them, not just with the one you're thinking, but everything. Um, and it's done not in a way that's right. Okay, there's a right way and there's a wrong way. And it's all complete wrong that Sodom did. And then Egypt, slavery. Because Americans and Canadians are slavery in their minds to their politicians, to the Hollywood, to, to the news media, to a lot of things. And, and God's going to break you th free from Sodom and Egypt that you become. America and Canada. To, um, to remember this day on which you left Egypt and a, 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 a body of slavery, because Yah, by the strength of his arm, the arm of God is Yeshua, El Shaddai, by the strength of his arm has brought you out of this place. So who brought them out of the place? It's El Shaddai Yeshua through, through the blessings of the Father God. Yeah. Do not eat any hazard. You are to leave today in the month of uh, 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 of A. And with Yah bringing you into the land of Canaan, Hittite, Arites, uh, Hivites, and Yorites, which he swore to your ancestors to give you. A land flowing with milk and honey. And you are to observe this ceremony to, to give to you. The land flowing with milk and honey. You are to observe this ceremony in this month. For seven days you are to, are to uh, eat hazat, Mazah. And in seven days... Is to be a festival for Yah, matzah to be eaten throughout the seven days, neither 
hazard nor leaven agents are to be seen with you throughout the territory. And on that day, you are to tell your sons and daughters, it is because of Yah did for me when I left Egypt, left slavery. Moreover, it will serve you a sign on your hand and as a remembrance between you, your eyes, and so Yah's Torah may be on your lips. Yah's Torah needs to be in our lips. And therefore speak in it. Because with a strong hand, Yah brought you out of Egypt. Remember, we're talking about slavery and bondage. Therefore, you are to observe this regulation at the proper times, years after year. And when Yah brings you into the land of, of the Canaanites, so he swore to you because your ancestors had given it to you. Remember, the Canaanites do not belong in that area. They belong in Africa. Um, and you can find that, you know, in the beginning, of, in, uh, in Genesis, the proof of that, where he put different tribals uh, from the three sons of Noah. You are to set us apart for you everything that is first from the womb, firstborn male animals would belong to Yah. And every firstborn from the donkey you are to re redeem with a lamb. But if you, you got to redeem the donkey with a lamb. You got to redeem the donkeys with the lamb. With Yeshua. But if you choose not to redeem it, you must break its neck. But from the people, you are to re redeem every first son. When at the same future time you are to, your sons ask you, what is this? Then say to him, with a strong hand of Yah, which is Yeshua, or El Shaddai, brought us out of the land of Egypt, the land of sin and bondage, out of the, the of, of slavery. The Pharaoh was unwilling to let us go, and, and Yah killed all the firstborn males in the land of sin, of Egypt. Both the firstborn of every human and the firstborn of every animal. This is why I... I sacrifice to Yah any male that is firstborn of a wound of an animal, but all the firstborn of the sons I redeem. This will serve as a sign on your hand and on the front of your headband, around your uh, forehead, that will be a strong hand. Yah brought us out of the land of Egypt. Amen. And after the Pharaoh had let the people go, God did not guide them into the highways that go through the land of the Philistines because it, it was close by. See, the, 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 where the Philistines or Palestinians belong is right next to Egypt. On, on this, the western part of the Sinai. That's where they were supposed to be. But these are not true Philistines. We, you know what we're talking about. There are Assyrians that came down to make trouble. And they have made a lot of trouble. And a lot of people believe them. And, 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 and may the judge of all judges, the mighty God judge between uh, what's going on now. And he will, and he is. And God, through the, the people unto seen war, might change their mind and return to Egypt. So he didn't want them to go through the highways where, where the Philistines are. Rather, God led his people by the 
roundabout route through the desert by the Sea of Surf. So they went across the Sea of Surf on the most southern part. They went down from Egypt all the way south. And then they went across the Sea of Surf, which is the Red Sea today, to nor northwest, what we call Saudi Arabia, which is just Arabia. Doesn't belong to the size, it belongs to everybody in, in Arabia, all Arabians and all tribal. Amen. The people of Israel went up to the land, uh, land from Egypt fully armed. And Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him. For Yosef had made the people of Israel swore an oath. When I, he says, Yah God will certainly remember you, and you are to carry my bones up from you and away from here. And traveling from Shekot and set up a camp in a, a, a town, and at the edge of the desert, and Yah was ahead of them in the cone of clouds during the day, and led them on their way. And that night, a column of fire to give them light. Thus they could travel both day and night, neither the column of cloud nor the, the column of fire at night went away from the front of their day, of their people. And Yah said to Moshe, tell the people of Israel, turn away and set up a camp in front of Apacharot, between uh, Midgar and the sea. And the sea was the Red Sea, or, or Sea of Surf at that time. And then from uh, Ber Tashvan, the camp opposed by, by the sea. And the Pharaoh said to the people of Israel, Are you wandering aimlessly in the countryside? the desert has closed in them and I will make I will make the Pharaoh so hard-hearted that he will pursue them thus I will win glory for myself and ex and explore ex uh, exposing the Pharaoh and its army and it's the, he's the same yesterday today and forever and just like he exposed the Pharaoh to death, there's a spiritual awakening coming to all these evil leaders that think they can do whatever they want. They can cheat their elections and all that. You cannot do it anymore. You cannot cheat the election Democrats and a few of the Republicans and even some of the Libertarians and the many, many, many elections around the world are being cheated, trying to be. It won't happen anymore because the living God will expose it. You'll be exposed to the the spiritual Red Sea will close all around you, evil leaders, and you you will go to jail for what you've done to the nation, to the world, you politicians. You can laugh all you want, you wicked people that follow these, these evil people, but you too will get it from the living God as well. The people did as ordered. And when the king of Egypt was told that the people had fleed and the Pharaoh had his servants and, and had a charge of change of heart towards the people. And they said, what have we done? Letting Israel stop being our slaves. So he prepared the chariot and took his people with him. He took 600 uh, first qualified chariots as well as all the chariots in Egypt along with the commanders and Yah said and Yah made the Pharaoh hard hearted and he said pursue the people of Israel as they left boldly and, and the Egyptians went after them and all the horses and chariots of the Pharaoh his, his chariots of his armies and overtook them as they were encamping by the sea, the, the Sea of Surf, the Red Sea, by Pet Haraj. 
in the in front of Baal uh, uh, Tephon. And the Pharaoh approached, and the people of Israel looked up and saw the Egyptians right there coming after them. In a great fear, the people of Israel cried out to Yah and, and said to Moshe, was it because there isn't enough graves in Egypt that you brought us out of to die in the desert? Why have you done this to us? Bring us out of the of Egypt. Didn't we tell you that Egypt uh, let us alone and went just go on being the slaves to the for the Egyptians? Wouldn't it be better for us to be in Egypt as slaves than to die in the desert? And Moshe answered the people. This is exactly the way the modern people act. They say, oh, it wasn't it better to do this and that? I said, and you know what? God's saying to all of you in the church and synagogue, parish, shut up. I'm doing something. And it's not your religious ideas. I want you to be in relationship with me and, and my spirit that was the Messiah 2,000 years ago, Yeshua. And stop this bickering and fighting, for it's not pleasing in my sight, nor the things that the community does. And the Father is saying the same thing he said to, to through Moses, he's saying right now. Don't we tell you the Egyptians and let them us go and won't just go being slaves uh, in Egypt? It, it would be better for us to be uh, Egyptian slaves and die in the desert. And Moshe said to the people, stop being so fearful. And that's what needs to be said right now. Stop being fearful. Remain steady. And you will see how Yah is going to save you. And you'll see how Yah will save you at this time. From the, the Egyptian communist that's in the White House right now and in, in, in Springfield as well. You'll see what he does. You'll see how he will expose them for what they really are and all their billions will not save them from the judgment of, of the living God nor the people. They are their authority. Remain steady. And you will see how Yah is going to save you. He will, he will do it today. Today you have seen the Egyptians, but you will not see them again. Yah will do, will do battle for you. Just calm yourself down. Just calm yourself down. And Yah said to Moshe, why are you crying to me? Tell the people of Israel to go for it. Lift your staff, which represented the cross, the staff, because it was a stake he was put on, and then he lifted up. Lift the staff, reach out your hands over the sea, and divide it in two. And the people of Israel will advance into the sea on dry ground. So it wasn't, he just, the sea didn't just lift in, as two walls, but the, the land became dry. There was no mud. And that's a miracle, complete miracle, more than what you think, because it was dry ground as well. And as for me, I will make the Egyptians hard hearted and they will. They will march in after you. Thus I will win glory for myself in exposing the Pharaoh to and all his army and all his chariots. And the Egyptians will realize that I am Yah. And all the politicians of the earth will recognize that he is Yah and they are not. And they will be exposed to the traps and nets of God. And they will be drowned in the judgments of God of today. Woe unto you, you, you politicians. Woe unto you, unlawful judges in Hollywood and legacy medias of the world. 
Woe unto you, for the living God will expose you to the spiritual Red Seas and will drown you and expose you for who you really are, each of you. For the Egyptians will realize that I am Yah, God. When I have won myself glory, exposing the Pharaoh on his chariots, Next, the angel of Yah, hello, the angel of Yah, who was going ahead of the camp of Israel, moving away and went behind them. The column of cloud moved away in front of them and then stood behind them and stationed itself between the the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. There was a cloud and darkness there by light, by night. And there so that the, the one did not come near to the other all night long. And Moshe reached out his hand over the sea. And, they, they, and Yah caused the sea to go back before the, the strong east wind of all night. And he made the sea become dry land. And it, it, it went up to the ground. And the water walls up from them on the right and the left. And the Egyptians continued to pursue them, going after them into the sea. And all the Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and cavalry, just before dawn, Yah looked out, and the Egyptian armies threw the column of fire and the, the column of dew uh, them into panic. And he caused the wheels of the chariots to break so that they could not move with the difficulty. And they, the Egyptians said, Yah is fighting for Israel against the Egyptians. Yah is fighting against the politicians for the righteous. Let's get away from them, said the, the wicked. Yah said to Moshe, reach out your hand over the sea. And the waters will return and cover the Egyptians, cover the politicians with the, the chariots in their cavalry. And Moshe reached out his hand over the sea and draw up the water and return to its former depth. The Egyptians tried to flee, but Yah swapped them into the sea. And the, and the waters came back and covered all the chariots in the cavalry of the Pharaoh's armies who had followed them to the sea. Not even one of them was left, but the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the sea, just as it was, will be again. With the waters walled up and on them, on the right and left. And on that day, Yah saved Israel from the Egyptian. On this day, on this time, Yah will save the born again from the wicked politicians of the earth. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. And when Israel saw the mighty deeds of Yah had performed against the Egyptians, the people feared Yah, and they believed in Yah and, and, and served Moshe. Shalom. This is he's done before. Every time you'll see in the Bible, he did something similar later. And throughout history, you'll find that he has done those things again and again in different ways, not in the same way as was before. And so it's the time for those things to happen again. And they already are. And the trap is set on the wicked. The trap is set on all the wicked. For they, they, will, they will all be exposed for what they have done. Woe unto you politicians. Woe unto you, judges. Woe unto all you wicked. For the day of Yah is against thee, and you will see the wrath of the living God. For the people 
that cry out to me. I've heard, just like I've always heard them through our echoes, through my word and through time, where I've heard their cries. And they will know the living God is, is, is the living God. Forevermore I have always been. For, for me, there was nothing. First miracle that I did was create my own self, identical of myself outwardly. That you call him Yeshua. But rightfully, he's El Shaddai as well, says the Father. For we are one, we are Yahweh, and we have spoken this day. Repent and turn from your wicked ways, O righteous, for I will not have this arrogant siege in your churches and synagogue and parishes anymore. For you know the living God, for I will I will sweep over you, and I will get rid of the paganism out of your churches and synagogue and parishes, and I will get rid of all the mysticism that you do in your churches and synagogue and parishes. I will get rid of the stubbornness do you have and I will bring you back to a relationship with me, says Yeshua and the Father. Oh. For we are one. We are Yahweh of oaths. For you separate us and you should not do such thing. For it's evil. For my word speaks this way. Do you not read it? No, you do not. You read it in a, in a filter religious way. For I will break the filters of, on, on my people. For your, your, your walls that you put up, your filters of religion, I will break up over the people. And you will see for the first time my word for what it says. And you will know that I've sent my spirit just like it says. For you do not see it this way. For, for you, uh, your filters won't allow you to see my word for what it really says. But you will know. For I will take the veil off all men and women's eyes of the earth, and they all will mourn. Everybody, many will say, well, why did we do these things? And I'll tell you, it's, it's what you do now that matters the most. For I, my love covers all sins, says Yeshua. And my holiness makes you strong again, says the Father. For we are one, we are Yahweh, and we have rebuked the devourers of the earth. And if you want to follow such evil people, then you will get the judgment, tell Anna what they get, says the Father, says Yeshua. You want to you want to worship men and women like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, you will get the judgment that they will get. Woe unto you, you wicked men and women, to follow such evil conniving people that have full devils in them. For this is what controls their life as demons. For I have spoken, says the Father. For I asked and I commanded your churches and synagogue parish to pray over them for deliverance and you did not. For this is why it's gone on now. All that is left for American Canada is my judgment. For you could have had a light judgment, but you are arrogant. Your arrogancies do not please me in your churches and synagogue parish, for I commanded you through my prophet. I told you to repent. I've told you to pray for them to, to get saved. You did not do either one. So now my judgment is upon the land of America and Canada. My judgment will be swift, and I will clean this area. I will clean it to make it whole. And it might fall, but I will bring it back up as America, as American Republic that it was in the beginning. And it will not have nothing of this anymore. For just as I drown the Pharaoh of Egypt, I will do it spiritually throughout the land of America and Canada. For I have spoken, it is so. And it's the way it is, says the Father, says Yeshua. I rebuke all the wicked of the land of America and Canada. I rebuke all the lukewarm. And I say, stop it. And start being right with your Creator through having my spirit within you, which is Yeshua that they took a form human form 
How dare you not know that my spirit was the one, the one in Mary? For I said it in my word. For you, your religious austerities block what Yeshua was from the beginning. He showed who he was. It said, my Rukhadash went into Mary and formed into a, a baby. This was not some other thing. This was the same spirit of God that took himself as a human being and called himself another name, Yeshua. Is there what his name was in the Old Testament, El Shaddai? You have been robbed of knowing my true identity, says Yeshua. Now I will reveal it. There will be much mourning, and there should be, because you have lost the understanding of who I am and who the Father really is, says Yeshua, says the Father. But today is a day of forgiveness. If you repent, or is it a day of a judgment for your arrogance that you want to hold on to, says the Father, says Yeshua, for we have spoken. No more, no more will I put up with the churches and synagogues and parishes' arrogances. For you will know who Yeshua really is, and you will know that I am that I am, says the Father. And Yeshua is the is that he is, and that together we are Yahweh. And we have spoken through our prophet of the last days. For I tell you, woe unto you that come against him, for you'll be smited. But blessed are those that do what is right, for blessing will flow from my mouth to his mouth to you. Sigh no more, no more sighing, for I despise it, says Yeshua. In your church, you, you sigh, you, you, you complain. Mysticism I hate more than anything, and it's in the churches, in the synagogue, and parishes, and I rebuke it. You will not do these things no more, for I am not pleased with this. You must know that I am the living God, says the Father, and I'm the Spirit of God that became the Messiah to this world. And I love you. We love you, says Yah. For we are king of glory. We have spoken. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. I pray for you. I pray for the people, my father and Yeshua, my daddy. For he is my daddy. Yeshua is my daddy. I have come to do his will and the Father's will. For they are they are they are mine. They, they are my father and my dad. That I, I, I'm obedient to them and no other man or woman on the earth where it would be sinful would do such things. For I'm, I'm here as, as it's commanded to, to, to do what is right, just like Moses was commanded to do things for the Father and Yeshua, so am I. And he's commanded repentance this day. He's commanded all to repent and turn from their wicked ways. He has commanded that hope flow. But no hope is, is dry, is it falling? For miracles of the living God, you will see, like the days of old, it has been spoken of throughout the Bible. For it's, it's so, and it, it's the way it is. Now repent and turn from your wicked ways and be saved by Yeshua and spirit-filled this day so you can be pleasing to the Father's sight as well. Let's be filled your ark of the coming within your heart with the presence of Yeshua, our El Shaddai. Pray this prayer with me. Thank you, Father, so much for Yeshua. Yeshua, thank you so much for the Father God. Yeshua, I understood. You wanted, you wanted to save us. You wanted to deliver us from the nature of Satan that he put on humanity through the tree of knowledge, good and evil, of disobedience that they ate. But through the cross, you delivered us and cut us forth from that evil covenant of Satan. 
and brought us to the covenant of God that he always prepared throughout the Bible that no no man or woman could fully merge themselves into. But now because of what you did on the cross, Yeshua, and what you've done through each of us, now that we are saved and, and we will be born again through you, now that we can we can live not on that old nature, but the new nature of the tree of life, your nature, that we can be filled like the Ark of the Covenant was filled with your presence, Yeshua El Shaddai, that we can be filled with your presence now. I thank you, Father, and I thank you, Yeshua, that I'm born again right now. Say that. I am born again. Say that one more time. I'm born again. One more time for, for Major. I'm born again. I thank you, Yeshua. I'm spirit filled with your spirit right now. And I'm filled as the Ark of Come was filled with your presence. I am filled with your presence now. Thank you, Yeshua. I'm born again. I'm spirit filled. Amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Father, I pray over them. Pray for deliverance and, and blessing. I pray for them to always go forth. And, and if they have a question and they, they have a, a cry, and they cry out to you and ask the questions in prayer to your throne. And let them be faithful to, to listen to them and, and to be patient as well. Sometimes the Father and Yeshua doesn't give it always right then and there. They, there's a reason for it. So we thank you, Father, that their angels will be dispatched to them, different angels that are diff for different things that they need of. One for protection, one for their prayer life, for going forth and when they pray for others. Another one to remind them to keep what is right in their life. And another one that will just overall be there to, to watch over from afar for them. So we thank you, Father, and we praise you, Father, for all these things. We say shalom, shalom, shalom. Holiness and brings peace that passes all in this setting. None that's ever, none broken, complete peace be upon them. Prince of peace, Yeshua, King of peace, Father God, that brings us wholeness that brings eternal peace into our lives and great hope. Shalom be with you. Amen. Shalom.